Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome. You know what? It's like one of my happiest months ever because it's National Egg Month. Eggs are so cool, they have their own month and there's a good reason for that. You can literally hard boil them, eat them out of the shell, soft boil them, scramble them, over easy, over not easy. <laughs> You can poach them, make a quiche, I could go on forever. And that's why they're my desert island food. No question, I wanna be stuck on a desert island with plenty of eggs. All right, and well, we'll get into that, the other stuff later. But uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a really fun tomato brunch situation. So we're gonna use tomatoes, eggs, we're gonna make a really light salad with arugula and lime juice and cilantro. It's really, really pretty. It gets a lot of wows, and it's not that hard to do. And what's nice about it is you get to serve it when you want to. Breakfast and brunch can sometimes be a little chaotic, but not on National Egg Month. Eric, you... is this recipe out of your book? Yeah, this is so. out of my new book, Love in Your Air Fryer, which is available everywhere books are sold. Amazon, QVC, Books A Million, uh, Barnes & Noble, you name it. The recipe is in here. Uh, this is just one of our sweet mornings. This is how you start the book with some sweet mornings. There's tons of air frying recipes. Of course, use your power Excel, at least I do. Um, uh, you get the most out of your air frying if you use power Excel. Okay, so um, we're gonna get started here. So first what we're gonna do is just Jess to come in here and show what I did to the tomatoes. So what I did is I just cut the tomatoes around in a circle and then I just scooped out the seeds. Fresh, I didn't- Easy enough? Yeah, I didn't cook them yet. They look like little peppers there. Yeah, they kind of do they? look like peppers, yeah. It's like a stuffed tomato pepper. Yeah. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna salt them really well, and I'm gonna put some ground pepper in each one as well. And uh, you know, you always wanna season the delivery system, and these tomatoes are actually, for this time of year, have a great tomato we smell. They almost smell like summer tomatoes. Yeah, I noticed that when I bought them. Yeah. They smelled great. It's not easy to get tomatoes. I know, I was shocked. In May yet here, but you know, sometimes we get lucky. Yeah. Okay, so what goes into these? We have ground turkey. Now this is like shredded turkey. I did this in my uh, row book. I did this in my, uh... help me out, Jess. Blender? I did it in my blender. <laughs> I want to say Roboku all the time, but That's just... That's why I'm here, Eric, to it's, help you out when you can't think of a word. I know. Roboku really shows my age. So what we're going to do I've is... I've never heard of it. <laughs> it's a food processor. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, some of the turkey in each one of the tomatoes, like this. Now, while you're doing this, just keep in mind that you have to leave room for a cracked egg which is gonna go on the top. Some tomatoes are a little bigger, so you gotta hit them with a little more food, but uh, it's not like an exact science. So there's my turkey, and then we're gonna also add some Swiss cheese. Now with the Swiss, what I want you to do is just push it down. This is fun. Yeah, and I want you, this, this, the Swiss will be the part where you can tell if you have room for an egg. <laughs> so um, you just wanna push that down and make a little bed for the egg that we're gonna crack in here. How cute. Yeah. They kind of look like little bird's nests I know, now. I'm but really liking this. Yeah, this is cute. Um, now, I'm going to finish this last guy. And I, th I think we're pretty good here. Let me see. Did I I'll give this guy another little shot. Now, the nice thing about this is you can smash it down as you need. Now, what I'm going to do now is crack the egg into a little bowl. Now, I'm going to do this because, to be honest, we don't want the yolk to crack because we want the yolk to look really pretty. So, I'm going to crack each egg into a bowl, and if I accidentally break a yolk, I'm just gonna save that egg for later. Um, you know, I'll eat it later tomorrow morning. That's a beautiful looking yolk. Yeah, these, are, are, these eggs are called happy eggs, <laughs> and they have these really, really pretty yolks. Uh, they're so orange, it's, they're, it's like amazing. Yeah. Um, so now, if you get a little spillover, don't worry about it, because what's gonna, what that's gonna do for you is it's gonna cook on the outside of the egg, so it's not a problem at all. These are just like normal large eggs. And you know, depending on how big your tomato is. You... Yeah, it's not an exact science. No, it's not. All right, so now I finished putting all of the eggs in my tomatoes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them into, I have this little round cake pan. Remember, whatever 
um, whatever is cooking proof, whatever is oven proof, can go into an air fryer. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you have a cake pan or a little lasagna pan, it's gonna be okay. Now, just let me get this. It's like a version of an egg in a basket. Yeah, look how pretty that is. So these there are gonna go know. into the air fryer. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cook these for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna take a top rack out. I believe it said 325. 325? Yeah. Let me just straighten this guy out. So you could do it right on the rack, you guys. The only problem is the tomatoes aren't always flat on the bottom, so it's gonna be hard for you to get them to not move around. So I put them inside a cake pan. So we're gonna put this uh, 375 for 20 minutes. Boom. And which PowerXL unit is this? Well, this is the PowerXL Pro unit, and it's got multiple racks, and it can dehydrate, and if, if, if you get the one with the rotisserie, you can rotisserie. So you can rotisserie plus air fry. You can dehydrate food like a pro. I mean, it does so many things. And, um, you know, of course, it's Power Excel, so you know it's fully powered. And you know that you're going to get great results. And you guys, because food is so expensive now, we don't want to mess up the cooking process. So make sure you have good tools <laughs> because, uh, man, you don't want to ruin anything these days. Okay, so our little beautiful sunshine tomatoes are in the air fryer, they're cooking away. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the accoutrement. We're gonna make the little salad that goes with it. And uh, to do it, it's really easy. I just have some lime juice. And um, you know, I like to be liberal with the lime juice. I, I really like it. Uh, you, you can chill it out, it's up to you. But it's so good. And you're gonna see what else I put in this and you'll know why lime is definitely the way to go. And that's arugula, right? This baby arugula? Yeah, baby arugula, if you can't get arugula, spinach works really good with this. Now I have fresh chopped cilantro. Oh, that smells mm, good. My favorite herb. Um, of course, we're gonna put a little salt and pepper in there. Like that. And then we're gonna put some avocado in. Now, avocado Man, these things have become so expensive, but I can't live without them. So how are we going to do this? Now, I got this little avocado tool. It's really cool. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> I know. I love this thing. But uh, you can just use a knife. Uh, then what we're going to do is I, I cut it right in the shell. It's just easier. I give it one of these, and then I give it one of these, and then I just scoop it right into the salad like that. That's smart. This way, um, you're, good, you're full of good tips, Eric. <laughs> That's a good tip. Well, you know, you know, some of it's a little lazy, some of it's nah, smart. No, you're nah. not lazy. You're smart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we're gonna uh, make some nice cuts like this, and then right back into my bowl. Look at that. It's all chopped Perfect. up and pretty. All right, and we have one more to go. Now this is very dull. A lot of people hurt themselves cutting avocados with <laughs> knives. Um, use a dull knife for an avocado. <laughs> I heard it's like the number one emergency room visit are these avocado problems. So uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. I think uh, you know people get so excited to eat that avocado before it gets too ripe. <laughs> They're like, I gotta hurry up. But uh, yeah, you're gonna be all right with this. You can't cut yourself with this guy. Yeah, one day they're perfect, the next day they're mushy. Yeah, I know. It's so hard to time it. And they're like five dollars each, so you better. This, these, we got lucky, man. These were just perfect at the store. Beautiful. I mean, that doesn't happen. I know in California and Florida, you can usually get them all year round perfect, but we can't. Right. Look at that. All right. So this is our avocado arugula cilantro salad. With lime. With lots of lime. All right. So what do we do with this? We're going to just give it a little mix like that. Now this is super fresh. I'm not even gonna put any oil in it. So it's gonna be super fresh and snappy. It's gonna really add a nice flavor to those tomatoes. All right, so we're gonna let our sunshine beautiful tomatoes cook. Um, we're gonna come back, we're gonna use the salad, we're gonna dress it up and make plates for everybody. Yo, what do you think, Jess? It's, they're cooking. Can I take a peek? <laughs> sure. Yeah, the great thing about air fryers Ooh, is you can open them up. Oh, look at that. <gasps> they, it looks pretty inside. Oh my goodness gracious, that's gorgeous. Okay, bye. Keep cooking. <laughs> All right, we have our California brunch tomatoes. I just took them out of the PowerXL Air Fryer Pro. 
Look how pretty they look. Now, what I want to do is just get a little serving dish like this. We're going to put our arugula and avocado salad right all, like just want to spread it out. Mm. And then we're going to pop the tomatoes on top and then we're going to finish it up with a little uh, cilantro. That looks so good already, just the salad. Yum. And remember that guys, there's turkey, cheese, and cilantro inside as well, underneath the eggy. I think Jesse's Ooh, got her eye on I this. Do. <laughs> All right, so we'll just make a platter of three. That Typically, I'll good. serve people uh, one to two. It just kind of depends what you're having it for. Is it brunch? Is it a you know sort of like an appetizer? So you get to pick. You know, every tomato is a different size. So um, you know, just kind of work it out on your own. So listen, I hope you enjoy it. The tomatoes are right out of my book. Loving your air fryer again. This recipe is posted, so hopefully, Jess, will you ask everybody? Please like and share. <laughs> <laughs> Please like and share. And this way your friends can make a beautiful Sunday brunch tomato just like this. And um, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you enjoy egg month because I know I already do. And then uh, I know I'll see you guys next Thursday, 4 p.m. And, um, you know, we'll send out a teaser on what I'm going to make. So I hope you guys will join me. See you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.